Now we do have live team coverage for you this midday with crews tracking issues in the North Bay and South Bay. Mike and Noe following those slick conditions and the pounding on the roads. But first, meteorologist VNA Arana is tracking the storm's path. So VNA, is this a fat, slow moving storm or are we talking about just a wide range storm in size? You know, it was widespread across the Bay Area, but it was a quick moving storm, which is great because it definitely packed a punch. We got a lot of rain in a short period of time, but the good news here is, is we've already seen the majority of the heaviest portion of the rain, and now it's just going to continue to clear out. It's about 59 degrees right now. Temperature-wise, we're going to be in the 50s, so it's not going to get too cold. It's going to remain cloudy and clear, so let's talk about satellite radar and where that storm currently lies. So notice North Bay right now getting a lot of clearing, so they're going to get a break from the rain. A lot of that more focus now towards the South Bay, Santa Cruz Mountains, and through Central California and L.A. is now officially on deck, which means if you had any plans to travel down to Southern California within the next 24 hours, that's definitely going to be a big impact. Now, I mentioned that the bulk of the rain has already managed to push through, and we've already seen a decent amount of rainfall, especially for some of the mountain areas. I'll have a closer look at the updated rain totals, but I also want to talk about the wind gusts. That wind advisory was allowed to expire as of 9 a.m., at least for the majority of the Bay Area, but we did manage to see some pretty strong gusts in Contra Costa Diamond Way. That's at the higher peak, 76 mile per hour wind gusts, and then notice in Loma Prieta, 63 mile per hour winds. In the Mount Diablo range area, 60 mile per hour winds, so definitely gusty for some of those higher peaks, and we're going to see the rain and wind continue to diminish within the next couple hours. By the afternoon at around 3 or 4 o'clock, we should get some good clearing, but I'll have a closer look at just how much rain we've already seen, and remember, we've still got more storms on the way, so let's take a look at some of the impacts because we saw a lot of rain in the North Bay, and we've got our very own Tom Dunson live now. Tom, what are the conditions looking like now? I know it's definitely calmed down when it comes to the rainfall. It really did. Good morning, v and uh, Even the wind, we saw some wind damage here, but most people, like you said, are concerned about the rainfall and all the water. There's several sandbag locations like this around Marin County, and we have seen uh, a lot of people coming here today grabbing these bags. Easy to get because they're filled up, and a lot of people are saying, wow, they filled them up this year. This is the first time I've ever seen it. Really appreciating what San Anselmo Public Works did here for them this morning. We watched San Anselmo Creek this morning where the water level went from less than two feet feet early this morning to over six and a half feet in just a few hours. It's dropped a lot since then as the rain has dropped off back down to about four and a half feet, but it can go back up just as fast, even faster when you get that heavier rain like VNA was talking about uh, later on this week. Once it gets over 13 feet, that's when we start to see minor flooding, then major flooding at 17 feet like we saw in 2005. With the few days of rain like we experienced this morning, we can easily reach that level. I ran into a Lagunitas man who was out here this morning who was getting about 10 bags to stack around elderly neighbors' flood-prone doorways. He says he's been pitching in to help neighbors through these threatening floods for about 30 years. Well, you know the old Boy Scout motto, be prepared, so we'll see how it goes, you know. I just got a couple neighbors with doorways where the water seeps in, and there's no way that they can deal with it, so we just put the bags in. The rain was really heavy here this morning. We're certain to see a lot more people coming out to these sandbag locations Thursday and Friday after there's been a few more days of rain and that flood, flood, flood uh, threat level increases. If you do have a home or a business where you're afraid there could be uh, some flooding and you want to get sandbags, this is a good time to do it uh, because there's you know, dozens of these bags out here right now that you can just pick up. Once they're gone, you got to grab a shovel and head over to the sand pile over there and fill your own sandbags. We're live in San Anselmo. Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News. Yeah, good to see the community coming together. And like the man said, be prepared. <laughs> That's right. Get the bags so, while well, they're filled. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Well, NBC Bay Area's Ginger Konohero Saab continues our team coverage live in San Jose this morning. Where you've been monitoring the conditions there. Looks like the rain's letting up a little bit where you are. That's right, Laura. It has let up. There's still kind of a light rain. I don't know if you guys can even uh, make it out uh, on the camera now, but what you can still see from the overnight rain and from the rain this morning is what it left behind. Take a look at that ponding. We're uh, off the Central Expressway exit on the 85, and uh, this ponding is very similar to what we've been seeing on the freeways and on the parts of the road this morning. We've also learned that all lanes of southbound 87 just before the Taylor Bridge have been closed. I'm 
household. We'll learn more about that from Mike in just a moment. But this is the kind of ponding that cars need to be very careful about. And we have seen most cars be uh, careful and slow down, just like the one that's approaching now. Every now and then you get one that approaches it a little bit faster than it should. Now, this is very different. What we're seeing now rain-wise is different from what we saw just about an hour ago, which seemed to be quite a downpour, feel like one at least. It was a bit heavy, but it did pass very quickly, much like how this storm has overall impacted San Jose this morning. This is also video from Willow Glen's downtown area that we took earlier, much earlier this morning, where the rain came in spurts. It wasn't enough to completely derail some fitness enthusiasts of their morning workouts. We caught up with one man from that area who experienced flooding in the past. He said he's made sure to prepare for this storm. So for us, what I've noticed is where the driveway ends, that all that whole gutter just floods. And so usually every, I don't know, 12 hours going out there, sweep the drains, get all the leaves out so it can run down. But uh, that's the only we could really do. And then that, just stay inside. Now, we mentioned their, their sandbag distribution earlier uh, in Sunnyvale. The Department of Public Works over there does have a self-service location set up at the intersection of Commercial and California Streets over in Sunnyvale. That will be available today for residents who want to prepare possibly for the end of the week and uh, the more rain that we'll see. Even just standing out here, you've kind of seen a little bit more uh, rain come down. We can expect isolated showers uh, from, what I, from what I've been told later on in the day. But as of now, things have let up. No more wind advisory, as VNA mentioned. Uh, there is an active flood watch until 2 p.m. In, in San Jose. We're live in San Jose. Ginger Conajara Saab, NBC Bay Area News.